Wind. Sun. Waves. Biomass. Loland is buzzing with energy, wise energy. Loland is Denmark's fourth largest island, 120 kilometers south of Copenhagen. With its highest point just 33 meters above sea level, Loland is exposed to the wind and weather of the western part of the Baltic Sea. Global warming, rising sea levels, violent storms and torrential rain. Low-lying areas around the world are threatened by climate change. Climate change is much more than a problem. It's also a challenge and a good reason to think again. On Loland, climate adaptation and clean energy is the road to growth and development, a business strategy that can create job opportunities and attract a highly qualified workforce. Loland wants to invest in developing wise energy solutions and modern environmentally friendly technical solutions. For this reason, the municipality collaborates closely with private business, energy companies and universities regarding future energy supplies. On Loland, we call it Loland CTF. With the establishment of Loland CTF, Loland has created a framework for the development of future energy supplies. CTF is short for Community Testing Facilities. Loland offers room as a full-scale research platform for wise energy solutions. Combined with CSNVE's solid and well-developed electricity grid on Loland, possibilities have been created which many have already discovered. In the world's first hydrogen community, Loland makes electricity and heat by using excess wind energy to win hydrogen from water. The Danish regents, Queen Margrethe and Prince Henrik, visited the hydrogen community and the world's first hydrogen family on September 15, 2008. In Onsevig Climate Park, Loland will shortly be testing the production of CO2 neutral energy from algae. Behind prominent dikes which protect Loland's northwest coast, algae will be produced in large freshwater basins, using the nourishment in the drain water from the farmland. The algae will be used for biomass and energy production, as well as reducing the surplus nutrients before releasing the water into the Baltic Sea. The algae project in Onsevig has awakened interest in researchers throughout the world. In 2009, Loland will host an international algae research workshop. In the shallow waters off the coast of Onsevig stands the world's first wind turbine park of Vindabu. Beside the wind turbines is a wave energy demonstration and development plant. It could be the beginning of a new industrial adventure similar to that of the wind turbine. These environmental political lighthouses will make Loland an exporter of know-how and turnkey energy solutions. More lighthouses will follow. International Wind Academy Loland is working on establishing a test and research centre for wind power. The Green Centre is working with developing and optimising the production of biomass and the Climate Factory will collect, develop and communicate the many exciting, sustainable and innovative environmentally friendly solutions which Loland CTF has opened the doors to. Wind, sun, sea, 
earth. Energy solutions of the future. Loland already has some of them and is working on finding more.